Hello YouTube, how's it going? Today I'm gonna do some HTML on Code Academy. Basically, Code Academy is a free online learning service uh, website where it teaches you how to code. So, okay, let's see. First of all, I'm gonna go to my courses and I'm gonna go to Learn HTML. So basically, Learn HTML, we recommend starting with this course and the outcomes you will know all the common html tags used to structural html pages the skeleton of all websites you will also be able to create html tables and present tabular uh, data what you will build so you will build two projects a fashion blog and a schedule for a wine festival these projects will show you how to put your new knowledge to use in a real world situation and the reason why to learn HTML is it's the foundation of all web pages. Without HTML, you won't be able to organize text or add images or videos to your web pages. HTML is the beginning of everything you need to know. So, okay, let's start it. So, uh, introduction to HTML. What is HTML? Welcome to the world of code last humans of learners from our community started with html why html html is the skeleton of all web pages it's often the first languages learned by marketers and designers and is core to front end web front end development work if this is your first time touching code we're excited for what you about to create so what exactly is html html tells your browser where to position content such as images text or videos right click on any page on the internet choose inspect and you'll see an html screen so basically he's talking about you right click and you go to inspect and you'll be able to see all these html so we're gonna have we're gonna learn all this we're gonna learn the divs we're gonna learn the um the header and body so all right close this out so html stands for hypertext market language a markup language is a computer language that defines the structure and presentation of raw text in html the computer can interpret raw text that is wrapped in html elements hypertext is text displayed on a computer or a device that provides access to other text through links also known as hyperlinks you probably clicked on a couple of hyperlinks on your way to this code academy course learning html is the first step in creating websites but even a bit of knowledge can help you inject code snippets into newsletters blogs or websites or templates as you continue learning you can layer html with css and JavaScript to create visually compelling and dynamic websites. But for now, we're going to focus on how to add and modify basic content on a page like text, images, and videos. Don't worry if the website looks ugly. We're just getting started. So the instructions in the code editor to the right, type your name in between H1 and H1 and run. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys could see this. So let's type in Lee. Type in Lee. Okay. So what does it say? Um, Go down here. Encoded to the right. Type in your name in between H1 and press run. So let's read this. Here are some helpful links to the top questions asked by coders about this exercise. Why would raw text be need structure? Why does a browser need information about the type of text it displayed? The CSS defined presentation of web content. Okay, that's not too bad. It's a pretty cool interface. So localhost is this is where um so this is kind of like a code editor though. This is web based. So h1, this is a header. And the middle is where the text is going to be input. And then right, this is where it shows up. So let's click run. Oh, nicely popped up. Uh, let's try changing this. 
H2, H2. Oh, it makes it a little bit smaller. Nice. Now let's go back. We'll learn more about that later. So. Go next. Let's just run this. Sweet. Okay, great. So. Introduction to HTML. HTML. Anatomy. HTML is composed of elements. This. These elements structure the web page and define its content. Let's take a look at how they're written. The diagram to the right displays an HTML paragraph element. So elements, as we can see, the paragraph element is made up, made up of one opening tag, paragraph, P, the content, hello world, text, and a closing tag, P, a tagged, a tag in the content between it is called an HTML element. So between this HTML elements, between these, so between the P and the force rest P. Hello world, opening tag, closing tag. Okay, there are many tags that can be organized, can can use to organize and display text and other types of content like images. Let's quickly review each part of the element picture. Okay, great. HTML element or simply element, a unit of context in an HTML document formed by HTML tags and the text or media it contains. HTML tag, okay. The element name surrounded by an opening and closing bracket. So this is a bracket right here. This is a closing bracket. The element name surrounded by, so this is P, this opening tag and closing tag. So closing tag always has to have a forward slash. Okay, opening tag, the opening, opening tag, the first HTML tag used to start an HTML element, the tag type is surrounded by opening and closing angle brackets. Okay. Content, the information text or other elements contained between the opening and closing tag of an HTML element. Okay, so this is the content hello world. And again, this is the opening tag and closing tag. Okay. So the closing, the second, a closing tag, the second HTML tag is used to end an HTML element. Closing tags have a forward slash inside of them directly after the bracket. Okay. So instruction, study the diagram to the right and learn about the anatomy of HTML syntax. When you're done, continue the exercise. Okay, great. So this is elements. These are elements. This is the content between them. This is the opening tag. This is the closing tag. Okay, great. So we understand that. Content goes in the middle and we gotta have the opening tag, closing tag. This, these are the elements. Okay, great. Let's go next. Okay, the body. One of the key ele HTML elements we use to build a web page is a body element. Only content inside the opening and closing body tags can be displayed to the screen. Here's what opening and closing body tags look like. So body forward slash body. Once the file has a body, many different types of content including text images and buttons can be added in the body. So the body opens up here, the P, the P paragraph tag and the body. Okay, add a body to your web page using the body element. Okay, let's try this. Close that. Okay, and I did that. Great. Add the following code between your opening and closing body tags. Okay, so between that, I will add a P tag and then this type, add the following between close. Uh, hello, this is a paragraph, paragraph tag mixed in a body of tag, okay, but body tag and then let's close that okay 
I uh, run that. Nice. So it shows up here. Great. HTML structure. Okay. HTML structure. HTML is organized as a collection of family tree relationships, including parent, child, and siblings. As you saw in the last exercise, we placed the P tags with in the body tags. When an element is contained inside another element, it is considered the child of that element. The child element is said to be nested inside the parent element. Okay. So body, so you have your body up top, opening and closing, and then your P tag in the middle. This paragraph is child of the body. Okay, in this example above, the P element is nested inside the body element. Okay, in the, in, the, in the example above, the P element is nested inside the body element. The P element is considered a child of the body element, the parent. You can also see that we added two spaces of indentation, indentation using the space bar for better readability. Since there can be multiple levels of nesting, this analogy can be extended to grandchild. Grandchildren, grandchildren, great grandchildren, and beyond the relationship between elements and their ancestors and descendant elements known as hierarchy. Let's consider a more complicated example that's some that uses some new tags. Okay, so this body div h1, that's what we saw at the beginning, the p tag, which is the paragraph tag, and a div and body. In this, in this example, the body is an element. Element, of, element. Element is the parent of the div element. Both the H1 and P elements are children of the div element. Because the H1 and P elements are at the same level, they, they are considered siblings and are both grandchildren body element. Understanding HTML hierarchy is important because child elements can inherit behavior and st styling from their parent element you'll learn more about page hierarchy and when you start digging into css okay add the paragraph below as a child of the body element okay so this paragraph is a child of the body element okay so add the paragraph below as a child of body so we should put it, I'm gonna put it here. Let's see. This is a paragraph. Graph. Can you type tag? So make sure you close it. So let's see if this works. Nice, it works. Great. So next, so we just added the paragraph tag to the body. So the body's opening, closing, body tag, and div h1. We'll learn more about div later on. We'll learn more about div later on as we progress. Headings. Headings in HTML are similar to headings in other types of media. For example, in newspapers, large headings are typically used to capture a reader's attention. Other times, Headings are used to describe content like the title of a movie or education article. HTML follows a similar pattern in, H in HTML. There are six different headings or heading elements. Headings can be used for a variety of purposes, like tilting, tiling, sections, articles, or other forms of content. The following is the list of heading elements available in html they are ordered from largest to smallest in size so basically h1 use for a main heading of all smaller headings are used okay so basically h1 is the biggest one then it goes lower h2 h3 4 5 6 it goes smaller and smaller smaller so the bound bear right here is the biggest h1 heading the second one is about the brown bears. It goes smaller. It goes 
a little bit smaller each each type so the following example code uses a headline intended to capture a reader's attention it uses the largest heading available to the main heading element so h1 breaking news okay so now that you know how to structure HTML elements, we'll spend the rest of the lesson building an informal informational website using some of the most common elements, HTML elements. We put some elements in to get you started, but you'll write the rest of the page on your own. Below the H3, H3 heading that says features, add an H2 heading that says habitat. Okay, so basically, below the h3 so below this one um below the h3 heading that says features okay so add a h2 tag so we're gonna add a h2 h2 tag here so h2 and habitat it wants it to be habitat Okay, H2. Okay. Let's run it. Nice. It added right there. H2. Great. So below the habitat, so below this one, we're going to add an H3 tag that says countries with large brown bears populations. So it, it, you could copy this and paste it in right here to make it faster. So H3. And just do this right but I believe it's better to type it out so you could create muscle memory so let's just type it out h3 and it'll give you practice it's good to practice so countries with large brown bear populations okay so let's run this Great. And the last one, or the third one. On the next line, add one more H3 heading that says countries with small bear populations. So it wants me to add another one. So it's confusing. Okay. Let's do it again. It wants me to add it again. So it just, it just basically practicing, getting you better with the tag. So. Let's do that with small brown bear. Make sure that's capitalized. Populations. Make sure you close your tag. Let's run this. Great. So it goes again. So finally, on the next line, add an H2. On the next line, add an H2 heading that says media. Okay, great. This is nice. So on this line, we'll add H2 that says media. So. All right, we're finished. Go on to the next. So basically, H1 tag is right here. From H1, the brown bear. H2 tag, see how it goes smaller? This one's bigger and this goes a little bit smaller. H2 tag is a little smaller. And H2 three okay and then habitat h2 h3 is the countries with large brown h3 and then media is h2 this is the body so okay great so divs okay divs one of the most popular elements in html is the div element div is the sh short for a division or a container that divides a page into sections. These sections are very useful for grouping elements in your HTML together. So on this one, it says body, div, h1, why use divs, paragraph, remember p is the paragraph tag. Great for grouping elements. Uh, and then you closing paragraph, paragraph tag and then div and body. So div can contain any text or any other HTML elements such as links, images, and videos. Remember to always add two spaces of indentation when you're nested inside an element div for better readability. Okay, great. So below the H1 heading that says the brown bear, add in an opening div tag. 
Okay. So below the H1. So below this one, add an opening div. So you want to. So basically, it's dividing it. It's going to separate. So let's go div. And this is the opening part. Place the closing div tag right after the H3. So after this H3. So the H2, H3, after this, you want to make it here. Which, hold on, after which H3? Let's see. Okay, place the closing div tag after the H3 element that says features. Okay, so after this one, so after features, we want to make a div here. Okay, remember to use your spacebar to add two spaces and touch when you're in it. Okay, so you want me to add two spaces. So... Okay, let's run this. Great, it works. So basically the two spaces because it's re readability so it could be well organized. Okay, so above the H2 element that says habitat, add an opening div tag. So above, so above H2 element that says habitat. So right here, we're gonna add another tag. So, Let's see. Above this. So we'll add another. So make sure we do two spaces. I use tab. Space is okay, but I prefer tabs. Because, like, it takes longer. It's more efficient. So tab. So you div. Okay. And at, okay. So closing. Uh, above the H2 element, that says tab to add an opening. So we did that. Okay. This. Close the, close the div tag after the H3 element that says countries with, with small bear population. Okay. So after, so let's go ahead and um, put it right here. So it says after the H3. So let's put it here because there's one H3. Let's probably put it, let's put it under this H3. Okay. So. Make sure you tab that. Make sure you always tab, okay? Or space, whichever you prefer. And make sure it's lined up so it can be well organized. And then you close that div. Okay, let's run it. Check it out. Nice, it works, okay? Okay, above the H2 element that says media, add an opening div tag, place the closing div tag right above the closing body tag. Okay, great. So above the H2 tag, so media right here, we're going to put another div. And then the second part, it says place the closing tag right above the closing body tag. So we want to put it right here. So let's make it, let's make close the div. Great. Okay, let's run it. Nice. Okay. Here are some helpful links to the top question asked by coders. Don't div elements increase the structure. Uh complexity of HTML structure. Why would why would we want to group HTML elements together? Okay, you check that out. If you want to look at the community forms, you could check this out and I'll bring you to the next page. So let's go next. All right, great. Attributes. Ah, we're getting into it now. <laughs> if we want to expand an element tag, we can do so using an attribute. Attributes are content added to the opening tag of an element and can be used in several different ways, from providing information to changing style. Attributes are made up of the following two parts. The name of the attribute, the value of attribute. One common use attribute is the ID. We can use the ID attribute to spe specify different content such as divs and is really helpful when you, when you use an element more than once. IDs have several different purposes in HTML, but for now we'll focus on how they can help us. Okay. A content of the page. When we add an ID to a div, we place it in the opening tag. So right here it says div ID intro. Okay, H1 introduction div. So add an ID attribute with the value introduction to the div tag that's below the brown bear heading. So
so we got to add the ID attribute with the value introduction. So let's see how we could do this. So add an ID attribute with the value introduction to the div tag that's below the brown bear. So below the brown bear. All right, we're going to add an ID right here. So let's go ahead and add an ID. Add an ID attribute with the value of introduction. So you could go this one and intro introduction tag that's below the brown bear. Okay. So add an attribute with the value introduction to the div tag. So there's a div tag. We add the value that's below the brown bear. Okay. And an H1 tag. Let's try that. Did you add it? Oh, so it wants us to type the full thing. So instead of intro, we want it wants to type us introduction. So we have to type the whole name. Okay. Great. All right. That's okay. That was a little, little mistake. See, because it says intro right here. So it is good to like, sometimes it's good to make things short. You mean less, less code typing. And other times it's good to make it long. So when other people read your code, they could understand what it means. So introduction, you know, it's a common thing. People understand. Okay. So add an HTML. Add an eight, add an ID attribute with the value of habitat to the opening div tag that has the habitat H2 adding as a child. Okay, so so we want so add it right here. Same thing. But we want to add an ID attribute with the value of habitat. So how do we okay the value of habitat? So div ID Habitat. Okay. Great. Add the third one is add an ID attribute with the value media to the opening ID tag. So we're gonna do that for this one right here. So let's put this one ID equals so it wants to be media, so that's uh, lowercase media tag. Okay. Great next. Okay, guys, um, this I'll continue this off on the next part. So we're right now we're at eight out of 16. So this is my first HTML code Academy video on coding. So, um, let me know if you guys had any questions, make sure you like subscribe or comment. Um, thank you. Thank you for watching me and um, thank you. Take care. Have a good day.